What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today and I'm super excited because today I'm fishing the river that I grew up and basically that I learned how to fish and specifically learned how to fish for bass. I'm a river rat. If you've been watching my channel for quite a while, you know that and this is my deal. So I am super excited because it is going to be 78 degrees today and we have water temps of 60 five degrees in the river. Now the water is high, but I got a sneaky little spot that I'm gonna go into that I believe some fish are gonna be pushed up into and potentially spawning or getting ready to spawn. Hopefully we crush some big ones on top water. That is what I wanna do, top water and flipping. It's a little breezy today, but I think that should help the bite. We got some clouds in the sky and I really think that we should absolutely crush them but we have the current getting ready to carry us into some trees right now. So we got to go ahead and fire the old Merker up and we got to get to our first spot. I'm pumped. I think we're going to catch them. Man, let's see if we can get a giant. All right. There was another truck at the boat ramp, but it looks like they are not in here, which I am very happy about because I was worried they were gonna be in this little pocket, but they're not. So that's perfect. All right, God, I'm pumped. I'm pumped, y'all. This little cut right here is an old sand pit. Oh man, it liable to be some giants in here, up here feeding. I've had some really good days in here in the past. We're gonna make sure we got this back camera running. We do, this is gonna be good. We're gonna restart this just to be sure. Just to be sure. Oh, I've got mud in the boat everywhere. Y'all can see it on the floor. The ramp was so nasty from where the river has been so high. It was just absolutely disgusting. So the boat's got a little bit of mud in it, but it is what it is. We're gonna start off with the good old top water rear prop break. This is a uh, Bangalore. I've caught so many fish on this bait through the years. And basically, this place is shallow. I mean, super shallow. So the bass could be anywhere, but they like to get around the base of these, uh, of these little brush balls, whatever they are. But it's really, really, shallow and i threw that cast right in there but water in here looks like it's 60 60 degrees this might be this might be a buzz bait deal I'm gonna be honest with y'all with the wind blowing the way it is it might just be a buzz bait deal but we're gonna fish this first just see if we can get into a big one Yeah, water temps, when I put the boat in, it was showing 65. I might've been a little premature on, on uh, that water temp. Probably hadn't cooled down to the actual water temp yet. But it's so warm today. It's really, really nice. I think we're gonna get us a big one. I don't know if y'all can see the pollen line up there on the bank, but you can see how much higher the water was not very long ago. The pollen was uh, right there at the, you know, the edge of the water. And it was definitely another, mm, definitely over three foot higher than it is right now for sure. So it's definitely dropped fairly quick. There's big fish will come up and eat this thing. Even though I'm still surprised I didn't get one to come up in that little bit of time on my prop bait, I think we're gonna make it happen with the buzz bait because I can throw this places that I could not throw that. Because obviously that bait has trebles on it and it gets hung up in just about everything. And this right here will come through 
just about anything. So. See if we can get old, old big head. Really want to get some redemption from yesterday, losing that great big one on the fly rod. I mean, dang, what a big fish on the fly rod. That was so cool, and it was so uncool that I lost it. <laughs> but that's fishing. That is fishing. Not 100% sure how many fish are going to be in here. I know in years past, it's been a lot. A lot of fish in here before. But every year, it kind of varies. Oh, God. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, my God. What a bright Oh my goodness. Well, how about that one, doggone it? Gah. What a freaking tank right there. Oh my goodness. On the buzz bait. Let's get our buzz bait out of here. I don't want to bend the wire all up because this is literally. Look at that one. Oh my God. That is a daggone tank right there. Y'all check that out. What a daggone river monster. Boo that fish is probably over six. We're gonna weigh it. What an absolute tank on the buzz bait. My goodness. Y'all check that dude out. We're gonna put this one in the number one spot. This fish is over six pounds, I believe, for sure. Ooh. 590, 597. 597. Man, what a big girl. 21 and a half inch fish. Look at the tail spawning. Y'all check that girl out right there. What a daggone beast. What a beautiful fish. We're gonna let her go. Thank you, girl. Will you do the dance for us? Will you do the dance? Come on, do the dance. She said, heck no. I'm gone, brother. Well, let me tell y'all what, first fish of the day, absolute tank. Oh man, this is good, a 597. 597, let's pick that buzz bait up and let's get back to cast. I can't even hardly talk, I'm so excited. That fish blew up on it right by the boat. God. What a bite, what a bite. Let's get another one. Man, what a fish. And that fish was probably only in about maybe three foot of water somewhere in there. Uh, definitely pretty dang shallow, that's for sure. But she came up and annihilated this daggone buzz bait. But as I've told y'all, and I mean, literally I've thrown the buzz bait on this rod and reel combo for well over a year. Well over a year. Same rod and reel combo. Six foot, 10 inch, mock smash. The Mock Smash Reel, Mock Smash Rod, it comes as a combo. I'm telling y'all, it is a link in the description to Mock, and it's mocknation.com. You get 10% off when you use my code. So be sure to go click down there, click the description, get you 10% off your entire order at mocknation.com, and I'm telling you, pick you up this rod and reel because it is the perfect buzz bait setup. Perfect buzzbait setup paired up with 50 pound test P line, and you can be ready to catch some daggone giants. Throw you a toad, a toad buzzbait, and just smack them, smack them in the daggone face. We're gonna get another big one for us over with, I'm sure. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Get in here. Oh. Little guy. Little guy. Well, got two bites all the way back in here, back all the way. You can see I'm slammed back in this cut. But got one to bite the buzz bait. Little teeny dude. But hey, I appreciate it. Thank you for biting there, bud. Thank you for biting. All right. That's number two. I still want to go with the frog. Though. I'm still going to put the frog on um, just because I think we can get a big bite on that. So we're going to turn around, go back out of here. I'm going to throw the frog as I go back out. And we're going to see if we can get another river giant. Hopefully we can. All righty, y'all. We got the frog ready to rock. We're trying to get back through all these sticks and trees right here. The mosquitoes are terrible. Hopefully this wind keeps blowing. As I worked my way back in there and got near the, the bank, oof, the mosquitoes got tough. But we're gonna work this frog here. See if we can get a big one to eat this thing. I believe we can. I know there was some fish being hesitant on the buzz bait. A lot of times this frog will get them to commit. It's not moving quite as fast, so some of those fish will jump on this, but gotta be so careful on our back cast because it's so much stuff around us right now. I just landed on a fish. Not ideal. Might be getting back here with us. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was completely my fault. Got it. There we go. Get in here. Yes, baby. Number three on the frog. On the old frog. There we go, baby. Number three. <laughs> we might be where some fish are. I just had another really good fish come up on the frog right before this. Man, awesome. I got mosquitoes. Look at the mosquitoes on my hand. Ridiculous. Thank you, buddy. Let's get us another one. Second frog fish of the year right there for us. As a matter of fact, that six pounder, almost six pounder, was our first buzzbait fish of the year. I didn't even think about that. Good deal. We're way back in here now. I don't know if y'all can see. I mean, literally, we're just looking at a jungle. I mean, it's, it's so cool. I mean, this is my kind of fishing. I love it. This is what I grew up doing. You know, everybody might like doing their thing, their live scoping and all that. And hey, I mean, I've done it too. I mean, I got it, I know all about it, but let me tell you, there ain't nothing in this world that beats this. Top water bites, up shallow, aggressive fish. This is my deal. Like this is, this is, this is how I learned to fish and this is what I love. I just want to get a big, big to come up on the frog. Ooh, looks like something just moved over there. That was a freaking giant. That was a freaking giant. Why did I not catch him? <sighs> oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all might have saw his whole head. I saw his whole head, his whole mouth. <sighs> Golly, that was a giant. I cannot believe 
that I just lost that fish. Oh my God. That fish's mouth and head was huge. Huge. Well, we'll keep throwing the buzz bait. I know it's a dang big fish right there. God. I mean, that was a giant. Man. I tell y'all what, turkey season starts right here in a couple days. And the mosquitoes are absolutely ferocious. Like they're really bad. Whew. Gonna have to make sure I got my thermosail locked and loaded. This wind is really, really, really picked up. There's one on the old buzzer. Old fat girl, old fat female pulled up, thinking about spawning. There we go. Let's get this out without damaging your old girl. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Ah, got her eye a little bit, but decent little fish. Got to see if we can get that darn big one to bite again out there. I don't know what the heck I'm going to get him to bite, but I want to try to get him to bite something. Might try to flip up there maybe or I'm not 100% sure. Something. Because that is a big mama. I mean, that fish's mouth was so big when it came up. God. Giant. Mm, my rod just hit that limb when I cast it, and she said, no, thank you. Luckily, it wasn't too bad. All right, so we've pretty much made it back to the mouth. We're right here at the mouth of the pocket and we're gonna fish our way back around. I mean, I honestly think we'd be crazy not to. So water temps have climbed up some, 62.4 up here at the mouth. Whereas when we got here about, I don't know, just an hour and a half ago, two hours ago probably, it was 60. 0.5 so it's came up two whole degrees two whole degrees so we're gonna work our way back through with the buzz bait we did not fish the buzz bait through this first section when we first got in here so hopefully oh god something just blew up behind me but hopefully we can get another great big one to bite this thing because i'm gonna tell you that one that i missed whoo that was a daggum big one. I mean, like, big, big. But it's all good. It's all good. There's more in here. There's one little guy little fatties I mean when they're biting it they are they're choking it get that out of there little guy thank you bud buzz bait is pulling the bites it's pulling the bites well y'all as much as I hate to say it we're gonna have to end it right here because I gotta get home. I gotta edit this video so I can get it out for you all to watch. 
so I can complete this five videos in five days, but I really enjoyed it. I mean, first fish I caught today was a 597. I missed the opportunity at another absolute giant on the buzz bait. Was able to get a frog fish as well, but every fish today on top water. So, hey, any day every fish you catch is on top water, that's a good doggone day as far as I'm concerned. But we're gonna get this cast in right here. We gotta call it quits. I really appreciate y'all watching. And I hope you're enjoying these five videos in five days. I'm really trying to roll them out. And, you know, I just appreciate y'all watching and subscribing. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.